Welcome back to JCTV's Mid-Missouri Art News. I'm your host, Rick J. As we turn now to a well-known artist in the state of Missouri, Mr. Gary Cadwallader of Warrensburg, Warrensburg Missouri. Welcome, Mr. Cadwallader. <laughs> nice to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Well, Gary, if I may call you by your first name, sure. it's like we're... Uh, old friends all already <laughs> now, preparing for the show here in the past few weeks. 14 minutes is not long enough, um, uh, Gary, uh, really, in reality, to share that all, all that makes up your art world. So what we'll do is try to cover the highlights of those mm -hmm. experiences and invite you back uh, at a, another time. <laughs> well, I always like to start the first question off with, a little bit about, if you can, share with us a little bit about Mr. Gary Cadwallader, uh, your family, your past, and what have you. Okay. Um, I was born in Kansas City, and um, I was not what you would call the best artist in school, but uh, my grandmother was living with us, and about age 13, she bought me a... Uh, John Nagy learned to draw kids. You remember oh, those? Yes, I sure did. One of those great Saturday yes. mornings, he would come on, and if you could draw with a circle, a triangle, and a square, you could draw anything. Yes. Uh, well, he must have been right, because uh, from that start, I ended up going to UMKC, and I got an art degree. Um, I would have been 1972. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So. Um, so that basically is uh, my next question would be uh, what really was your first inspiration or what inspired you to become an artist? And I guess I should say well, what continues you now to continue being an artist there a few years later from that start date? Um, well, okay, so I was an art major but I did not do anything with it because I was a, figured out I could program computers. I see. So there was paycheck every two weeks. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so I did that for about 35 years. Um, and then it would have been 2011 that I decided to give uh, painting a real, real go. I'm going to give it a real try. And by then I'd had heart attacks, stents, bypasses. Oh I'm, I'm sure you understand where I'm coming yes, from. Uh -huh. <laughs> People my age, we have all those things. And, you start to think, my time is short. Yes. And so I really wanted to uh, start painting. And life circumstance, I ended up, the only paint I had in the house was an unopened box of watercolors and some cheap paper. So I started with that, um, thinking that would be easy. And I found out that it was not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> and what year would that have been a process? That would have been... 2011, and uh, I, I remember thinking my exact thought was, I'm going to give painting a real try. I got up, searched the house, found some paper, started painting, and I was terrible, just the worst. But June of that year, I went down to Springfield, saw Watercolor USA. It just opened my eyes. That was your main... That opinion. was it. It changed everything. Excellent. And since then, uh, I read so much now about uh, Gary uh, throughout the state at different events. And recently, he has been honored with a uh, position as a board member with the uh, Watercolor Honor Society out of Springfield. Would you like to tell us a little bit of what about that as board member, what you're going to be doing. And sure. Again, uh, the, your, your, should we say your steps that, that uh, led up to such an offer, an honor. Okay, well, um, I got, it took me a while. I, 
when I saw Watercolor USA, my first thought was, I want to show with these guys. These yes. are great. Uh -huh. And um, it took a while. It took a while. I think I was turned down the first four or five years in a row. But finally, uh, last year, I got two paintings in there, and one of them won an award. And that's enough to get you into the Watercolor Honor Society. Uh -huh. And then I talked to Lauren McCracken, who needed a... Uh, a newsletter editor and I've been doing the newsletter in Warrensburg for our little art group yes. and so I volunteered for that and um, I'm one of the two new board members the other one is a, uh, a lady that I've forgotten her name I'm sorry but uh, she will be putting together classes that they're going to teach in Springfield oh. hopefully with a top-of-the-line artist uh, like John Salmon or something like that to Excellent. come down and give Yes. Oh. Workshops. Oh, that sounds uh, super. Now, you mentioned Lauren McCracken, mm -hmm. which has been with the, uh, the uh, Society for years. And there's another young lady that you uh, mentioned earlier in the day. Yes, Norma Herring. Norma Herring. So we want to say hi to those folks and, and, and uh, the board members and what have you. That society uh, is very well spoken of. Uh, Mr. Larry Carver is watercolor artist, has been on the program. Jerry Thomas, um, Ron Furkle, and there's more li to be listed. And mm -hmm. It's such a, uh, the, the artwork that's coming from these individuals with this, this inspiration that coming from the Watercolor Society. We're hoping to get one of the individuals um, uh, back on the show along with, uh, like I said earlier, uh, Mr. Gary. Well, Gary, uh, say, what is your favorite medium? Now, watercolor to me, you can water it down, you can use it, what is it, anti <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Well, okay, uh, my favorites are watercolor and acrylic. Ah, and um, people accuse me of making my watercolors that look like oil paint because I put it on there pretty thick. That's what I like. <laughs> I like your style. I've seen it. He's at the, also at the Runge uh, Conservation Nature Center. That's one of the 52 artists on display there. And I, I, when I see, I saw his work, I do, do oils mainly personally, so I do like the thickness. But it still is amazing how some of the watercolor artists just seem like to mix up a little water with some color in it, and it comes out fantastic. So, yeah. oh, I, I like your style, and your <laughs> art speaks well for you, Mr. Oh, Gray. Thank you. Um, so, can you, would you like to describe some of your favorite completed projects? It seems like we all have a personal few favorites. Sure. Uh, please go ahead and let us know. Uh, so we'll be bringing those up, editing them into the program. Okay. You speak about them. Uh, okay, I want to, I, I, first one I'm going to mention is called Abundance 2. Um, okay. And the reason I like that one is because it's the first one that made any real award money. You know how you'll, you'll get $25 or $50. Maybe you get $100. Well, yes. that was, got best in show at the Missouri Watercolor Society member show. And it was enough to buy new tires for my van. Excellent. And so I went out and bought them the next day before they could change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good move. <laughs> I guess that's like $25. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. It was a good price. Plus, oh. that made me the judge for the following year. Oh, so they paid me to be the judge and put me up in a hotel and paid all my meals. And mm -hmm. it was a good deal. Excellent. Um, then I had, the, I had an acrylic that I really liked. I called it Refuge. And it's very large, it's 48 by 60, so four by five feet. Um, it got $700 award at the State Fair plus the purchase price, so that doubled up. On I do the recall that piece at oh, the State Fair. Thank so. you, that's hanging in the President's office at the State Fair Community College. Oh, oh that's right, I did visit there next to the Dom Center. I yes. I visited, it's, it's there, yes. I had forgotten about that. But I was there about four weeks ago. And oh, the, yeah, so you saw it. Then. Yes, I saw it. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful piece. Very uh, well done, yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that started a whole set of acrylics that I've been doing that I call Refuge, where you, are, you feel like you're in a protected place looking out at the world. Um, I had another acrylic that I really like uh, that uh, 
the uh, Ashby Hodge Gallery of American Art. Oh uh, yes. You know Joe, Ga Joe Ga Geist. Sorry. Geist. Yeah. Yeah. And Denise Haskamp up there. Mm -hmm. They bought that for the uh, for for the gallery, and um, I call that one uh, "Before the Earth Was Flat." It's kind of play on words because I'm I was working with very flat pieces of color and then very three-dimensional objects oh, as well. So you, your your medium um, of subject matter is varied. I noticed too that you just don't do. Uh, Landscapes, you do. Uh, yeah, I would say mostly florals. Florals, yes. Because florals give you a lot of ability to put an abstracted feel to your painting. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you once again for uh, being part of the Call to Nature's Art there at the Run Center, at JCTV, and myself sponsoring it. Um, and your artwork is appearing at many places. Uh, we both hope to be in the top 50 at the Missouri mm -hmm. State Fair hope to. with our pieces. Um, uh, definitely re admire your work recently even at the Jefferson City Art Club uh, art exhibit. And uh, I do recall, um, I think you're also with the SVAA yes. uh, in Sedalia, Miss uh, Rebecca Limbach and mm -hmm. Linda Linda Hoover. Hoover and mm -hmm. Glenda Miller mm -hmm. is uh, part of that, and they've been with us. So, well, is there any place right now that you'd like to promote that you're going to be at so people can come and take a look? Uh, the biggest one will be Powell Gardens mm -hmm. um, on 50 Highway there, and I'll be there with a second person. So the two of us will show August 19th through October 28th. So we will fill that place up. Great, and I want to put that on my calendar. <laughs> That's at the Powell Gardens. Yes. Okay. Do you have a website f so the folks or email address or phone number where sure. someone would like to commission a work from you or at least share your work? Sure. Can you uh, give that to us? Yes. Uh, my website is very simple, www.garypaints.com. And uh, email is just gary at garypaints with an S dot com. All right, super. Was well, there anything we'd like to share with us uh, as far as an ins inspiration for a new artist or what have you uh, within the art community? Uh, leave oh. us with a few words of... Uh, just, I, I would say just don't ever give up. Or, I mean, if an old codger like me can, you know, do some damage, certainly a young person can. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. And just, just keep trying. Well, Mr. Cadwallader, on behalf of the JCTV, Mid-Missouri Art News, which is attempting to bring uh, together all art lovers across Missouri and, and the different states, uh, and uh, through this program, uh, I want to thank you so much for contributing to Mid-Missouri Art News, making a learning and informational experience for all. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you, our viewers, for watching. Look for more Mid-Missouri Art News right here on JCTV. And don't forget YouTube. I'm Rick J. Singh. See you next time.